it's really normal to feel like a lot of tension, a lot of stress in this area. We're living a sedentary lifestyle right now. So what we want to do is we want to open up these joints. We want to stretch these muscles. We want to help stabilize the spine so we can live a nice, long, healthy life um, with our core stabilization here. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Nathan Sumeno coming at you from the Southern California University Health Sciences. I'm one of the full-time faculty members on campus. We're going to get a position for the first move. It's going to be called the child's pose position. You're going to sit back through your hips onto your ankles, and you're going to bring your forehead down to the table. Okay, walk your hands forward, feel that nice stretch here in the low back. Now we can hold this position for about 15 to 30 seconds just to kind of open up those tissues and feel that stretch. Or we can kind of move back and forth to really mobilize those joints and stretch those muscles. So let's come back up. Let's do a couple reps. Just come up to the top. Good. And then slide back down. For this particular stretch itself, that child's pose position, we can alternate hands here. So we're going to bring this hand cross over to the other side. Go ahead and sit back. And as we do that, we're going to open up his side here on the right. It's going to give it a little bit more of a stretch. He's going to come back up, open up these joints, mobilize these tissues, and help alleviate some of that low back stress. Go ahead and come back up, hands and knees. It's important to maintain these exercises uh, to help maintain that endurance, to help maintain all those good benefits that we gathered from increasing our fitness in these areas. That way we can continue to live on a nice, strong, healthy life and increase longevity, increase the longevity of your joints, which is gonna lead for a better quality of life down the line, increase vitality, increase happiness, and a better handle on your activities of daily living.